Mason Greenwood has won a Spanish League Young Player of the Year. Uh, 13 goals, 34 appearances, adding 7 assists into that. So, good season for him. Very glad that we signed the 19-year-old. Average rating of 7.33. Well, let's take a quick look. So, we beat Velascano 4-0. Tony Cruz, Alex Tellez, Lucas Vasquez, Mason Greenwood, all with goals. And then we beat Espanol 4-2. to two. Uh, They got a penalty. Tony Cruz, B- Benzema, Danny Olmo, Greenwood, all scored in the first 25 minutes of play before we called off the dogs. They got two second-half goals to make it respectable. We're back for Laganas. So... We haven't spent a lot of time looking at the board, and we don't have the board up here anymore, so it's now kind of like this club vision tab. Um, so let's take a look at where we're at. So sign players under the age of 23. Uh, they're delighted. Do not sign players over the age of 30, which I don't think I've done, So they're, but they're still reserving judgment. Um work within the payroll budget we're on course even though we're losing our ass Uh, maximum of one year contracts uh, not judging on any of that into the current season become the most reputable team in europe that's probably not going to happen since we're finishing outside of number one and barcelona's winning again develop the best youth system in the country i don't know develop the best youth system in the world uh, reach the Europeans Champions Cup quarterfinal at minimum. We failed. Win the first division. They're disappointed, which I'll get a failed after this match, I guess, even though I've already failed it. Uh, reach the final at a minimum. Has passed. Super Cup, not judging. And then this is moving forward. But challenge for silverware, we've already done that. Uh, win, win silverware in two more years we've already done that so it gives you credit moving forward but here's here's what's odd so we've been third fourth position just about all season right and yet literally right before the barcelona game i was a c (laughs) i was a c uh and i said i had the same criticism here against getafe i did not have this one but we got eliminated from the quarterfinal win two months ago. Two months ago, right? So why that wasn't factored in at the moment it happened, don't know, but is what it is. But literally in in a one-month window, we have dropped from a C to an E with no changes to the things they're upset about and four consecutive wins, including a huge win over Barcelona. So I don't know. Uh, You know, (laughs) that's a little odd. You know, it is what it is. Uh, We actually got an email from Cruz or about Cruz right here. under pressure, Coach RC deserves the support of the players, according to Tony Cruz. So he's a guy that I want to get rid of, and he's the one backing me. Appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> Not to make a rash decision in appointing to uh, to appoint a new coach and to remain patient. So, and they need to put together a much better run of form. Um, two losses and two draws and all the rest are wins, typically that's a pretty good run of form. I mean, I understand it's Real Madrid, and basically you have to be undefeated every year, which makes playing as Barcelona and Real Madrid impossible as far as I'm concerned. You know, I mean, you've got to go undefeated. Nice. Oh, well. So (laughs) let's get to today's match. We're playing Leganes. Everybody's playing at the same time. Yes. So we need, we have moved over Valencia by one point. So we need to win. 
I mean, a win and an Atletico Madrid loss. Actually, a draw by Madrid and a win, Atletico and a win by us would tie us on points and give us the goal differential. A win keeps us ahead of Valencia. A draw, they need to draw. Well, they could win, but they'd have to win by no more than four goals. So that could keep us in third. Uh, and let's see, they play, they play Alaves, 20th in the table, already relegated, probably not going to happen. And Valencia is playing Velicano, 13th in the table. We actually have the hardest game. So, well, let's get to it. Uh, let's see, favored... All right, so Olmo Hazard bails out. I was trying to see last match if any of the younger players could help us out. Danny Carvajal. Do I want to? I think I'm going to bring him in and play some Mindy. I'm going to do that. We still only have the one striker. Uh, oh, Jovic is back. Nice. Well, let's go here then. Yeah. So Jovic is back. He's been out for a long while. His his uh, match sharpness is very low, but he's sitting on. Uh, 15 goals, 8 in 20 in the league. Yeah, let's do that. Eden Hazard is also back. So we get two of our big players back for the last match of the season. And let's go ahead and give them the faith speech. Um, is that my imagination or is that dark? It's like the lights in the stadium are out. I haven't touched anything. All right, Danny Olmo puts one in in the first 30 seconds, his 10th of the season. Is that just me? going to skip the replay um yeah and unfortunately with the without the uh skin that i like to use i don't have the option to look at the league table oh wait we could uh, latest scores there we go let's put that up there and we'll move can i move that yeah, let's move it somewhere because I don't want it up there the whole time. Uh, let's see. Barca's tied. Atletico Madrid is winning. And Valencia is on a draw. All right. So, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly thinking we're going to get fired after the uh, oh, nice touch by Greenwood for his 20th of the season. Oh, uh, Cruz. I think it was Cruz, uh, player of the match eight times, which ties the uh, Spanish first division record. So he's looking to get player of the match this match and break that record. I don't think he's going to at the rate we're going. It's hard to tell. But uh, again, he's had a good season. So we've played well this year. I mean, I, I've been pretty happy with the way we've played. Nice ball out to Hazard. Oh, he sidesteps. Oh, just missed the corner of the net. Um, so, yeah. Oh, boy, if you could get an assist here, that would be helpful. 
No, that's not going to happen. Uh, let's give him some praise. A uh, good step over by Trent Cow. Stolen at the touchline by Hakimi. No, oh, he's got lots of space and pace. Oh, he almost dribbled over the line. He's going to take it the length of the field. And he says, if Messi can do that, I can do that too. <laughs> In honor of the wide shot by Messi last match. Sabalos, nice tip up. Greenwood into space. You know, that was a little wishful. A little wishful. All right, uh, we're already positive. Let's go to balanced. We're going to drop back to balanced. Goal differential shouldn't be a big deal. Oh, nice steal by Hazard. Oh, and he puts it in his 12th of the season. He probably would have been close to 20. He missed quite a few games. So I think he would be... Uh, I'm a little darker. I don't know. Let me know if you think this this ep this video uh, is better than the previous one because I, I lost one of my lights right before recording. And uh, so it's a little bit darker here, but I think the color may be better. So maybe that's one I want to leave off. 18-2 to two in the first half. 3 nothing advantage. Uh, let's see. Barcelona's on a draw. Madrid's up 1-0. And Valencia still on a draw. As long as we win, I don't. I'm not worried about that. Madrid, we need to lose or draw though. So, um, there we go. All right, they're complacent. Oh, we're complacent. Uh, hello, hello. Concentrate. Oh, there's a nice steal. A oh, beautiful touch. All right, Olmo loses it. Over to Hazard. Drives into the box. Oh, he almost put another one in. How's Cruz doing? 7.0. There's just too many other people playing well for him to get the player of the match, I believe. All right, just laid it out there. Sabalos, oh, nice through ball to Olmo. Ah, everybody's too interested in taking that tight angle shot. Oh, I don't know. Was there a penalty there? He's going to check the VAR. There could have been a penalty. The way, the way the players stop kind of is the giveaway, I think. What's the decision? What's the decision? A penalty! Oh, Eden Hazard's going to line up to take it. You know, we started off this, the, this save with Hazard missing a penalty. Well, okay, well, he got that one in. He's missed a boatload of penalties, hasn't he? And he's the best penalty taker on the team. He's got like a 19. All right, we're going to skip that. We're going to go ahead and make some subs. Um, Odrozola. Put you in there. Um, Vuksevic, you're our big signing. I want you in there for... Let's put you. Uh, let's put you in for Sabalo since he is, uh, and then we'll swap you two. There you go. Put you in a playmaker role, and Jovic, you've got the assist. We're gonna put Benzema in, and then we'll swap these two guys. We're gonna do three early subs. Hopefully that doesn't cost us. Oh, my God, right into the wall. There were too many bodies there. He blasted a shot. 4-0. So, 
Okay, that's an injury on their side. Whew. All right, so of course, this is going to be our last episode for the beta save. Uh, I hope you got... Oh, fuck. Really? Yeah, we're just going to take him off. Um, attacking mid. You know what? Let's drop you back there at support. We knew that was, well, I was at 87 minutes. I would have already made the third sub anyway, but still, ouch. <laughs> Um, all right, well, let's go ahead and wrap this up. So two goals for Hazard. Did he win player of the match? 150th. None of those are for us. None of those are for us. All right. Dressing room. You did well. Continue. All right. How did we do? We finished in third. So Valencia... Three nothing and four nothing. Well, four nothing for us and four nothing. Oh wait, no, Madrid is two nothing. All right, so all three clubs won. Barcelona won. I'm sure two nil. So we finished third. Are we gonna get fired at the end of the season? So we meet expectations. <clears throat> we have to pay out another 5.75 for him sco for Hazard scoring 20 mil or 20 goals. So we paid out 11 and a half million dollars for him this season to Chelsea. Uh, Hazard length three months with the torn calf muscle. Yeah, what what do you think he could have done? 20 goals, jeez. 20 league goals. 13. Oh, I wonder if that's uh, that's 20 total since we got him. But still, 10 and 18. Man, another two months. He could have had a hell of a season. All right. Good on him. Grateful. 10 and a quarter million. Um all right, let's go ahead and just wrap this up here. I'm, I'm really expecting to get fired. I'm not going to dignify. I'd like to see if we get fired. I want to kind of, but while, while I'm simming ahead to get to the player of the year, Ter Stegen, Valverde. I finished third. I finished third. That's fair enough. Uh, Spanish team first division. Nobody first team. Vale and Greenwood on the bench. That's good. So where are we going to go? Well, I've got this idea. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys. Because if you watch all the way to the end of these, uh, then you deserve that. Because I don't think many people do. <laughs> what did I do to Carvajal? Uh, Carvajal has not asked to leave the club, to my knowledge. And you know what? If he wants to leave, I'll probably sell him. Uh, he is freaking transfer listed. Hello. Oh. Get over it and play your soccer. Jeez. And Ostegard isn't he? Odegaard isn't even at the club. He's on a freaking uh jeez, whatever. <laughs> um, so here's what I'm thinking. Uh there is a club out there that popped onto my radar. 
uh, through a video, one of, you know, one of the videos that's out there about, you know, teams to play with, teams to look at, you know, and, and this one team popped up on my radar. And uh, and I was like, yeah, that's interesting. So I haven't actually done research into the club, but but it's uh, it, this would be uh, like a career save trying to take one club all the way up to the top to the Premier League, if possible. So, but here's my thought, and I haven't seen anybody do this before. I want to get at least. an 11 deep, you know, a league 11 database. So there was an 11 that came out last year for FM 19 on, on steam. <clears throat> and that I used with my infield town save. And then there's a 22 deep that comes out on the SI forums. So, Either one of those would work. And what I want to do, and, and you've all seen those those videos where they sim a, a hundred or a thousand years into the future to see how things are going. Um, I'm not going to sign anybody because we haven't, uh, we haven't, uh, we're not going to be back next season, so I'm not going to mess with that. I'm just looking for the end of season stuff, but I, I didn't see that last year. Anyway, back to the back to the save. So what I want to do is I want to sim between 50 and 100 years down the road because let's face it, you know if, if you do a journeyman or or a teams a club save after the first year, it's all fictional anyway because you start trading players or selling players and. You know, you, you, you move this player, you sign that player. And, you know, so the clubs are not real anymore, right? Yeah, we had a difficult draw. Thank God. All right, 41-40. That's good. We weren't the biggest. Whoa, Liverpool beat us, but then they lost in the quarterfinals. They were the biggest underachievers? Nah, wow. Uh, Club World. So we're going to be with Gangzu and SCP from Brazil. And Evergrande Tabau. And those start in June. Is that going to be more matches? Well, we might have one more match here, boys. We might do the Club World Championships. We'll see. Um, but let's finish talking about this. Um, so my thought process is every save that anybody does from, from Loki to Gray Hair Gaming to the Custard Prophet and me and, you know, anybody, they're all going to be fictional at some point very quickly and you know yes if we so if we sim ahead then what i want to do i want to go 50 to 100 years in the future and then i want to go and i want to look at some of those clubs that like this one club that in particular and i'm not going to tell you the club but there's one club that's made it into this tier of 11 that have not really been there before. And I want to kind of look at clubs that have either fallen, uh, you know, a club that may have been in the premier or, or, you know, the Vonorama North that's fallen, you know, real low and has, you know, maybe bounced around near the bottom or a club that is really built up out of nowhere and has now started to get into actual league football. Um, and take that club and then see if we can build them up. That's kind of the idea. I just don't know what club it's going to be because the the kicker with this is doing the 50 to 100 years in the future. And we just don't know what the game is going to do with that. Because, yeah, I could go watch videos. You know, there's two or three that I've already looked at. But their results may not be my results, right? And honestly, they don't, they don't show the the lower end guys 
Um, oh, who's retiring? It doesn't matter. Danny Olmo, Spanish First Division Player of the Month for May. Oh, Danny Olmo. Dedicates his award to me. I won May Spanish Manager. Nice. All right, we're going to move him back to B, I believe. So anyway, that's kind of the thought process is I want to do this, you know, I want, that's what I want to do. I want to sim ahead 50 to 100 years. Then I want to go in and evaluate what, what teams are there, what teams have, have come in, in and out of play, uh, what new teams might be there. And, um, and it'll be a lower league manager save, in, you know, for sure. And see if we could take that club and then build them up. That's that's kind of my thought process. So I did a I did a journeyman this past at you know FM nineteen, and you know so we may do. And what I did this past year is I I did the one club with Infield Town for a while, and then and then I wanted to do a, a jumped over and I did a journeyman save in uh, South America. So. We could do something like that again. We could do a single team save for half the year and then switch over to a journeyman. Um, you know, just it just depends uh, on what kind of interest uh, you guys have in the save. But that's I haven't seen anybody do the sim ahead part. I've seen you know because there's really nothing new. You can do lower league. You can do the big clubs. You can do uh, the challenges. You can do journeyman you could do this that and the other but i haven't seen anybody do one where they actually did the save or challenge and then coupled that with a jump ahead in time so i uh, you know i think that's uh that's something i've been thinking about that's what i think we're gonna go with and um uh, so I hope you guys are excited about that i'm i'm excited to actually get a database and be able to jump in and do that so then I can decide what club it's going to be because that's going to be when we actually get started. So why don't we do this? Because we've made the Club World Championships, we are going to go ahead and do however many more episodes we're going to have. Oh, by the way, hold that thought. So he's under contract until June 30th. And the group stage, so we could lose half our team before the before the world club world championships finish up. Ow? That would be bad. And we weren't in the club world championships last year. Hmm. So we could lose a boatload of our players. That's kind of scary. But yeah, I mean, let's go ahead and do uh, at least one more episode with the group stage and see what happens. I mean, we'll, we should get out of group stage. Um, but let me know what you guys think about my, my idea. Uh, let me know if you're excited about that or you think it would be interesting. Um, again, it will be lower league because we're, you know, we'll go with a club that is probably around that tier 11, you know, league 11 type thing. Yeah, uh, and then try to build up from there. But um, anyway, I guess that's it. If I do find the uh, the the email I'm looking for, which I didn't ever see last year, with like the leading jersey sales and band player of the year and all that stuff, I'll come back for that, and then we'll do the next episode with the uh, the club group stage. But guys. Thank you for tuning in for the beta save. I hope you come back for the next episode because uh, I didn't know we were going to be doing the club. So surprise on me, surprise on you. And uh, we'll see you there. Hit the like button, subscribe. And guys, as always, thank you very much for tuning in. See you. Bye.